Today we've got a special guest and a really awesome camera. Now where is he? So I believe I'm supposed to be meeting with someone to have a look at a new camera. Where is he? Geraint! Cheers. How, how are you mind. doing? Really good, man. Nice yeah. to see you again. Nice to see you again, too. So what are we doing here today, then? Well, we've got a new toy to play with. Yeah. It's not a toy. It's a professional bit of kit. Um, but look, this is the new TG7. This nice. is an amazing camera. It's really fun to use. I'm really, really enthused about using it, actually. So what are the key aspects of this camera that you particularly enjoy? Well, it's submergible. I mean, that's one really cool thing about it, isn't it? Yeah. Um, it's got this incredible microscope mode, which we'll have to go explore a little bit later on. I can do things with this that I could do with my other setup, but this is just, I don't want to say simpler, but it's just different. Okay. See, look at it, man. It's really small. It's really light. It's really tough as well. It's completely shockproof, and I'll prove it to you now. Look. Boo! I'd be in the woods sweating buckets, but like now I've got this, dude. Like, yeah, we could just, we could just splash around in the water and have some fun. <laughs> It's really nice. Cut to the slow motion shots of water going through our hair. Yeah, that's it. Like, try to, like, be, be, be <laughs> watch style, you know? The thing is, that's outdoorsy people. We're adventurers at heart. And cameras like this, they're made for folks like us. We just want to be immersed in where we are. We don't want to have to worry about our gear. We want our flexibility to take pictures that we like. And um, I'm just delighted. And it's all black as well. So it matches all my cool style. Like. <laughs> With my other setup, I live in a realm of certainty. I know, I mean, so much control. I've shot this way for so long that I pretty much know how it's going to come out. But this is random. This is random, and it's, that's what I like about it. So today we're obviously checking out the camera itself, but it's also really nice to hang out with Garrett because uh, we actually talked quite a bit at, on the podcast, and it was a lot of fun. And I bought some bourbons. What? We got biscuits. Bourbon. We got bourbon. Bourbon tastes better with a nice view. It really does. Well, there's know, nothing like, bad than looking at a view whilst munching on some biscuits. No, you can't beat it. <laughs> and clink. So what caught me to do the Olympus guy? I know we talked about it briefly in the podcast. Well, how do I find my way to it? Yeah. So I was using the full frame, he kicked me both. All my kick was heavy. I was counting around, I didn't really enjoy using it all that much. And my real passion was for exploring and shoot in close up images of the natural world. Yeah. So when I discovered that the Olympus system, well, or the OM system now, had a crop factor that was better suited to macro photography, because yeah. this magnifies places pull straight away. Yeah. That was like a really good deal. You know, we're gonna be starting ticking things off, it's like, okay, it's closer, tick. It's smaller, <laughs> tick. It's lighter, tick. And then yeah. I found out that, you know, we had inbuilt focus stacking and inbuilt focus bracketing. There's your subject, right? Yeah. See? <laughs> Enjoy it. There's a beetle on my boot. Oh, oh we should have stopped. Beetle on his boot. So this is technically a live photo shoot. Here we are. I've got good areas. Ripple. See, it was ridiculous. All right, I've been shooting this, and in the microscope more specifically, I just shot it exactly as I would with my, my other system. Yeah. I treated it the same way. So show you the wall. It's got in-focus bracket in as well. Yeah. So you can gain depth of view with it. You can shoot handheld focus brackets of two millimeter subjects without coming with the right. I can't do that on my so no. But at the same time, without even having to change the lens, I can shoot underwater scenes. I can shoot nature. Yeah. I can take this with me absolutely everywhere I go. Yeah. And I record video and stuff as well. So this is going to be my, I think, my full-time travel companion. I'm going to take it everywhere with it. Awesome. So speaking about doing it in the water, you can't necessarily do it. You just have to attack to. I've just. Done I'm going to jump in and get a photo. I'm, gonna do you. Do it. I'm totally going to do it. When you said it, I was going really, to do it. So it's back to work now, and I'm going to go in, get soaking wet, and get a shot with the TG7. I'm going to have a little bit of fun, basically. Garin. I got this. You got this. I promise we're recording. Okay. Oh my god. This is cold. Ah. You get a sec, man. You got to climatize. We should probably talk about specs. <laughs> At this moment, it's a 4K camera, and it's got an f/2 to f/4.9 lens on it. So it's got a zoom on there. But like uh, Garant was saying, it does do uh, microscopic mode, and it's an all-around great camera. And look at this. It's waterproof. At least I hope it is. Oh, 
Oh my God, I actually really like that photo. The camera itself has a one and two thirds sensor at 12 megapixels. And this right here is perhaps one of my favorite photos I've taken. Not my favorite, but it's pretty damn close. You can't really make it out on you, but dude, that is beautiful. You can see the trees up in the background. It's got context as it's well. It's just got like an enti entirely different angle to it, which is what I like. And I am soaking. I feel like I should take the plunge. What do you reckon? Do it. I'm always going to support you in your creative Stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh. envious. Take the camera down with you, man, and film it. Do a selfie, like. <laughs> do it. You have to do it. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Well done, man. <laughs> <laughs> How does that feel? Oh, good, yeah. Yeah, it looks fun. <laughs> so, have you enjoyed your bourbons? Oh yeah, undoubtedly. Best day of my life. <laughs> so you see those little moss sporophytes growing on that log there? They're one of my favorite subjects to shoot. And with a light back like in them like this, I think they might look really, really cool. So um, it'd be a good one to try out the old um, microscope mode. These are like brilliant all year round really, but sometimes you spot them after it's been raining and they catch all the little water drops and stuff. I got some really interesting shots of them where they reflect the forest in the background. It's really oh, awesome. Man. Yeah, and it's, it's one of those all year round. Oh, there's one on his own there. And he's kind of like leaning over. So I'm going to try to photograph this guy. Um, we've got a couple of microscope modes on here, but there's one called microscope control and that actually allows you to zoom in and out. So I'm going to use that one. I'm going to shoot slightly upwards and try my best to um, make the most of that backlight in there. It's even got some like Booker in the background. Oh, look at that light. That's a beautiful shot. It's, a, it's amazing, dude. <laughs> and it's really so fun. So you sold him the camera from trying it then? Yeah, like I to give it a little test in my garden, you know, and I um, I found these tiny little mushrooms in my garden and I was sold on it just straight away. It's fun to use. It's really fun to use. And you know, it shoots 4K video and stuff as well. So, you know, a lot of like my professional stuff, I I have to shoot you know behind the scenes content for you know reels and things like this for folks, and um, it's just, it's gonna open up where I can do with that stuff as well because now I can incorporate underwater shots and just shooting in the rain without to, you know without having to worry about breaking my phone. Yeah. And the focus is really good. I mean the clarity, the lens on this is really really good. We're walking along all nice, and then suddenly he gets distracted. Now he wants to take a photo down there. And I think that's something that's quite special about this camera is I've got a ton of gear, so this is quite hard. But if I didn't, I'd be down there with him. Makes you think. Oh. Yeah, I was just reviewing my shots, kind of like freaking out, checking if I got anything usable or not. But look at that. So I used to like, I dunked it in halfway down in the water. And you go frame where the water's like splashing around and stuff. And that is just spray and pray, literally spray and pray. I couldn't have even tried to get that. I love it. And it's the quality of everything. It's just really cool. The TG7 is an all round, generally good camera. The specs aren't perfect. It's a 12 megapixel sensor. However, I do have a 12 megapixel in my camera and I got some stunning photos on the day as well. So megapixels don't count. I think what counts with cameras is the experience and this is what the TG7 does well. It unapologetically makes you a part of nature and gets you to experience it in a different way. Being able to be in the water doing slightly more precarious things. Well done, you can do so much more with a camera like this. And sometimes I think it's worth thinking about just taking a camera into nature. And well, I'll let Gary explain this better. I'm just gonna enjoy watching this dragonfly flying around and it is such an honor because it just literally came right up to my face just then look me in the eyes essentially and I can't get close enough to take a shot so why even ruin the moment and try it's about being in nature and observing and it's just taking memories I think that's something that TG7 uh, is actually good for it allows you to step back in minimal gear and just enjoy yeah I mean look at this he's literally right next to me That's amazing. 
But I also know that these dragonflies are super territorial. And he's going to come back tomorrow. I bet them, that's amazing then, to see that. He's, he, I swear he's smiling. That was cool. Sit down here, man. He'll come. You've got to see it as well. <laughs> like, follow, Please. and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you, Garrett, for allowing me to film with you today. And hope to see you next time. This is a little...